Welcome back to it. It is Trading SA on SABC3 or TradingSA.tv. For a lot of you, it's the moment you've been waiting for. You yeah. set your alarms for it. You even banked school today because of it. And now, we are here, Baba. Now, there aren't enough words to describe our hashtag WCW guest for tonight. She's one of the country's most influential media personalities as well as an entrepreneur. Her career catapulted to superstardom when she was introduced as a presenter on SABC One's music show Live back in 2007. Now, through her lively and unique presenting skills, she changed the game and, of course, dominated the industry with a popular reality TV show, Being Bonang, which birthed the B-Lingo. Do, do you guys know the B-Lingo? Mukiel. I mean, so many words have come out of that show. And currently, <laughs> she is shooting the third season of her reality show yes. and has just launched her new line of shampoo. Pom, 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 pom. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Shampoo, pom, 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 pom. Bonang Mateba! <laughs> Later. Okay. Oh, later. Oh, wow, guys. Yeah, so Bunang, <laughs> just in case you're catching that and are confused about what's going on, she's asking when we're going to make out. And I told yeah. her it's going to be later, not later now. On, not now. Bunang, welcome to the show. Thank you. Jeez, such Where's a long my time. Table? No, we took it out. Why? Because we knew you were going to dance. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Right. We know you're going to do a, a small split and twerk and all sorts of things later. Thank you. Right, so, <laughs> so many things are happening for you. Yes. I mean, I think over the past month, we're really like catching all of it. <laughs> yeah. The question before the past month has always been in my head, what does Wanang do actually? Yeah. And now it's a, shoo, yeah. Wanang does a lot. I mean, there's yeah. House of BNG, mm. there's the reality show, there's um, so many stuff that goes yeah. on, public figure. Yes, yeah. there's a lot. Why are you doing so many things? Because I want to, and it's fun. You know, I'm a workaholic. I love to be busy. I enjoy it. My job makes me happy. It get, you know, I get to do all sorts of fun things, meet people, travel around the world, and, you know, wear some awesome clothes, change people's lives, inspire, laugh. It's just fun. I love it. But also, I just, uh, I'm a hard worker, you know, and I know the only way to kind of make my life awesome is just to kind of put in the hours, I guess. Nice. That, that's it. Yeah. And you're putting in the hours because Hi. in the past two weeks, we're introduced to something new to yes. us, House of B&G. Yes. We're like, eh, did you buy a house or, you know, <laughs> what what's a b &G? It it? You know, I thought Rick Ross is coming to the country or something. Yes. But we hear of House of B&G. Yes. We see something about clothing. We see something about shampoo, popo, mm -hmm. What is House of B&G? House of BNG is a brand new, uh, is the love of my life. It is something that has been, you know, in the making for the past two years. Okay. It is my love letter to Africa. You know, uh, yes. over the past couple of years, I've created lingo, like you said, champagne, mm. darling, mukelo, khumunati, man. Mm. You know, yesterday was was the, uh, something with DJ Fresh, I think on Tuesday. Fela, 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 or something like that. Sa, fela, fo. So everything that I say ends up being a quotable. And, you know, I love champagne. I'm always out celebrating. I enjoy it. It's my favorite kind of drink. Mm. And I said, well, how do I, you know, create my own? It's, nice. uh, and I mean, it, it was absolutely natural. I think, you know, South Africa made some of the best Cape wines ever in the world. Mm. And I thought, well, if I'm going to introduce myself into the beverage industry, I need to make something that's organic, something that I love, something, mm. you know, a bubbly style drink. And uh, MCC is just what, uh, you know, what champagne is to France, mm. what uh, Prosecco is to Italy, is what MCC is to South Africa. Ah. Nice. Yeah. So, because uh, 2017, right? The hashtag girls with vineyards. Yes. Uh, so we were all very confused. I remember that. Yes. What's the story here? Yeah, we were like this photo, <laughs> this video of you, and we're I signing. I remember. We, Bonang got the land back. I uh, know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and, and you've been keeping this thing, this yes. secret tight, your cards close to your mm -hmm. chest, just showing a little bit of the thing. I'm curious, because you, you are this businesswoman, you're this, yes. this uh, media mogul. Yes. How much time did you put into the business strategy, yeah. the actual plan? I, or, and how much are you willing Absolutely. to share with us? Oh, I love that question. I think that's the most important thing. You know, um, um, I think this chapter of my life, I think it's titled Ownership. Mm. Everything that I do, um, my app, my book, my reality show, my uh, documentary, my champagne, my lingerie, everything is Bonang and by Bonang mm. for Bonang. Yes. Mm. So I, I, I just, I, I, I wanted to make sure that what I do right now is something that can last me, you know, in terms of income for a very, very long time. We work in industry. Mm. I can't be on television for 20, 30, 35 years. Selling so time. I need, absolutely. Yeah. So I need something that's going to make sense to me in 30 years. That's still going to bring me a lot of income. Mm. That's going to, you know, uh, 
just make sure that I'm comfortable. So the planning for me, that was the most important thing. Mm -hmm. South Africans take their wines very seriously. Mm -hmm. They know what mm -hmm. they're talking about. Mm -hmm. When you're going to get into an industry that you know nothing about, something mm -hmm. like, you know, like, uh, like wines, you need to do it properly. Mm -hmm. You know, everything that I do, I try to put a lot of respect and dignity into it. And the planning, most of it, that's where it came from. The bottle, mm -hmm. first of all, how it tastes Can we bring is the most important now thing. See it. Robin? Where is it? Yes, there it is. This is the Brut Rosé. So it comes in a Brut Rosé and a Rosé. This is a Brut Rosé. Thanks. So this is the Brut Rosé. I mean, just the, first of all, how it tasted was very important to me. I wanted it to, to, to be a drink that I would enjoy, right? right? And then the packaging. Yes. I mean, this was supposed to be launched in November 2018. Then I remember oh, seeing wow. the samples and not loving it because when I looked at it in the sun, it had little, you know, reflections of a bit gray or green and I didn't like it and I took right. it back. And th that's where the planning went in, the launch, mm. the timing of the Cosmo yes. cover, mm. the timing of when all the assets came on social media. So everything had to be meticulous. So that's why it took two years. I mean, quiet because I've been, you know, brewing this little baby and now I'm glad that I can finally share it with the world. Absolutely. So, but I, I've been Thank watching you. you for a very long time. Yes. I've known you for a very yes, long time. Absolutely. And you have had a long successful career that many draw inspiration from. But I want to know, how do you strike or just navigate the balance between relationships and your impeccable work ethic? Well, relationships, you know what I love about my work ethic and my relationships, whether it's business or personal, mm. my family, my friends. I enjoy my life because I get to take the people that I love along to what I do. Mm. Luckily, I, the job that I do allows me to do that. Yeah. So my friends and my family, I take them along. Um, it's important because we are on television mm. and we are artists. How you feel is very important. So if you're happy or unhappy, it will always reflect whether in your mood, your face, your eyes, your body or your skin. Mm. So... I, I take that into, into cognizance and, and my joy comes from my relationships, the people that I spend time with. And I know that if I'm happy, my skin will be popping and when I get on TV, I'll be popping and everything will be popping, popping. So I take care of myself, but my relationships take care of me and that's how I'm able to do my job. So they come Amazing. first. Yeah. Nice. Well, it's, it sounds like your life is a fairy tale, you know, <laughs> a, a very well organized, yes. well planned, yes. strategized uh, fairy tale. Yes. So if someone else had to take the reins, for example, yeah. and plan this dream situation, maybe like an engagement or something like oh that, my what would be goodness. the, or if you had to plan one, what would be the best way that that could sort of play out in a fairy tale yeah. you know, organized <laughs> by Bonang? Organized by, by Bonang. I'm such a simple girl because yeah. my job involves so much energy. I'm around so many mm. people. I give and I give and I give. Mm. I'm a Cancerian, you know, ah. so I go back into my shell. Mm. I'm quite homely and I love, you know, I'm, I'm, I love being by myself and being at home. So if you had to organize, let's say, an engagement, right? I mm. love simple things, mm. you know, and I'm a proudly South African girl, mm -hmm. right? So, you know, Dilofela is simple, na maya cho ma bele. Even if you took me to spur, I'm cool, you know, I'm real. Pop and flesh. No, really. At my launch, I mean, people were sipping wow. on this delicious, ooh, shit. Your favorite celebrities, let me tell you about your favorite celebrities when I. Y'all know nothing. Let's talk about one of sexy drinking. Yeah. They were eating. Like, literally, I was feeding people pap and flakes. Mm. Pap, vors, chakalaka, gravy, potato salad, green salad, because that is who I am. Right. You know? All this fluff and, and it, I mean, it's my job. I love it. But I think when you watch being Bonang, you realize what I am. Listen, can I nice. tell you something? I saw a tweet that speaks to that. It says, um, I think it was Michali, I'm not too yes. sure, but she mentions that I've been to a lot of events, <laughs> but that is the first event that I left and I was full <laughs> in my stomach. <laughs> like my yes, because at the end of the day, I'm, I mean, I'm selling a beverage. It yeah. is an alcohol, mm. uh, uh, an alcoholic beverage. We have to, at the end of the day, That's remind amazing. people to drink responsibly and feed them. Right. You know, you have to be, you have to have food. Your, your, your stomach has to be full. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's what it is. But I also, my events are very... I, I would imagine if people came to my house, how would it feel? Yeah. Mm. And, and food brings people. Hey, but yes. <laughs> hey. yeah. So I mean, that's what it is. I like to keep things simple. So if to organize it, mm. keep it simple mm. because I get all the glamour and all right. of that for my job already. Right. Yeah. Fab, yes. Amazing. Okay. So last question: How do you imagine your story will be told decades from now? 
I mean, you've had an amazing story yeah. so far, but decades from now. I wanted to involve a lot of, uh, you know, South Africa. I'm South African. Yeah. I am who I am because of South Africa. The people in South Africa continue to love me just so hectically and so sometimes a little bit uh, overwhelming. But I just see it being in a, in a form of, uh, you know, a university or a school mm. or... I see me kind of having the girls that I'm taking to university right now, I want them to create an alumni, a network of sisters mm. that ultimately kind of change the world. I would like to say, you know that girl that became the president of South Africa? I helped her get through university. Now mm. she's just, you know, she's the queen. That's how I would like to be remembered. Not but the frivolous things, things mm. that really meant Amazing. That, that, that are important, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because wh what's the purpose of having all of this if it's not going to change somebody's life? So ultimately, you know, with the B house of b and I said in a couple of years, I want to be a billionaire and then bring all of that money home and then just, I don't know, build a school. <laughs> nice. You know, if the Motepes aren't going to do it, I can, we'll I can, do it. I'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, <you're> right. <laughs> so of course. Let's talk public figure. It's yes. something I've been quite interested in. I see the post, mm. but I never see the film. Like, I, I walk into, like, yes, a movie theater. I, I, I want to get it before they sell it to me at the robot, <laughs> okay? Oh, okay. Yes. Hey, okay. So, <laughs> so public figure is a film that I produced, co-produced alongside a company in New York called Red Button Films. It's a mm. production company. And they approached me to, uh, two years ago, same time when I started the House of B&G, and they said, B, you know, we want to create a documentary following in influential people and influencers and public figures around the world. You're one of them in Africa. And then we found other people around the world, uh, a couple in Vancouver, we found a lady in Australia, we found uh, Sebastian in New York, just people around the world who are on social media, mm. who have used social media to change their lives. So I'm talking about entrepreneurs. Mm. I'm talking about bloggers. Mm. I'm talking about people who create memes for the likes of, you know, uh, fashion labels around the world. Mm. And I said, well, they said to me, well, we are creating this film about social media and the pros and cons. Come on board. I said, well, two reasons. Okay, I'm going to come on board. I want to star in it, but I also want to produce it because I'm very fascinated with the, with the, just this whole monster that is social media. Mm -hmm. So what is, that's exactly what the film's about, the pros and cons of social media, how social media has changed people's lives. Mm. Um how people have used it to change their lives. Sure. We have sat down with amazing people. Rose McGowan, we've sat down with Denzel wow. Washington. We sat down with, you know, uh, psychologists. We sat down with people, who, like, we sat down actually with um, a social media but uh, we, attorney. We want to see it. Her Where can we see <laughs> it? Yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm trying to explain to you what it is. No, you don't know what it is. Okay, so we premiered at the Manchester <laughs> Film Festival in March. It premiered um, on the 17th in New York. Mm. In South Africa in June, uh, okay. there's a documentary festival because I think parents need to watch it. Mm. You know why I say parents? Because we're in an era where young people's career choices are changing. True. Mm. Right? And I think what, why I made this film is because I wanted something to explain that to our parents. Mm. To say, hey, you know I can sell things on Instagram and make money. Mm. You know, I get it. That's, where, that's where we're headed. So Case in point. we need to help our parents understand. We need to help the world understand. And if you are somebody who wants to do it, I want to help you understand how to do it properly. Well, too. Nice. there you go. Yes. Help us and so that you can help yourself. Exactly. The queen of quotables, <laughs> Mogeli, Shampo, Polo, Polo, Popo. Well, no, thank you so much for coming. Only a pleasure. Really appreciate it. Good so luck for the future. Half thank you. Public figure. Wow. Make sure that you go out there and catch them when you see them and buy the Shampo, Polo, if Please you're do. over the age of 18. From us, Drink we'll see you now. Go for a quick ad break. <laughs>